Hey everyone, it's Erin. Lately, I have been craving French toast. So, the last time I went to the store, I got thick sliced bread. And I was going to make regular French toast. But then, I went onto the Google machine and was exploring a couple of options and decided to make something a little bit more fun than regular french toast. Not that regular french toast is not fun. <laughs> so, here we have the finished product of what I made, and I'm going to take you step by step in this video and show you the ingredients, the process, and then the finished product. And I'm filming this after I made the dish, because clearly it is done. Uh, but I forgot to mention in the video if I liked it or not, and I have to say that it was really, really good. It was delicious, so definitely a thumbs up from me. So if you want to see what I made, then stay tuned. Okay, so this is everything that you're going to need for this recipe. We have flour, heavy cream, milk, brown sugar. I happen to have the light brown kind. I don't know if it matters, but this is all I have, so. And then eggs salt, butter, and it's supposed to be cold butter. The recipe calls for nutmeg, and I do have nutmeg, but I don't, I don't love it, so I'm probably gonna not use it, but the recipe does call for it. Cinnamon, vanilla extract, a, I guess preferably thick loaf of bread, so I have Texas toast, but you could use, I want to say you could use any bread, especially something thick, or maybe like a French loaf or something like that, and then something to spray the pan with, non-stick spray, uh, Wawa coffee is optional, <laughs> so that is everything that you'll need make this French toast recipe. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut the uh, bread into, I guess, like one inch. I'm terrible at guesstimating sizes, but essentially I'm going to cut it into cubes. I'm taking the crust off, as you can see. Um, I don't think you have to, but I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to use the crust to either feed the birds and give the cats something to do, or um, maybe make like breadcrumbs or something. But from the picture on the recipe, it seemed like the uh, the cubes were pretty large. So I'm just going to Also, you don't have to do them three at a time. I just figured that it would expedite the process. <laughs> and then I have a bowl, and I'm just putting them in the bowl as they await the liquid they will be getting soon. I love a fluffy bread like this. It's so like spongy and fluffy. I'm also weird, so. I'm using a serrated knife because I think it does 
make it easier to um, kind of saw through it and not necessarily um because a lot of times if you use like a, a duller blade and you push down it crushes the bread with it so i tend to like to try to do a motion like this like a very soft motion that's why having a good knife is very important Have these rainbow knives they weren't expensive but they're very good so okay so this is the bowl the finished bowl with all of the bread cubes in it the recipe that i used which will be linked below all it said was one loaf uh, so I did use the entire loaf except for the end pieces, the, um, you know, the very ends of each of them. So I know that it was a pretty big loaf of bread and, uh, I guess you're just gonna have to eyeball it or find a different recipe because it, it really wasn't very specific, unfortunately. I think it's gonna be fine though. So next what I'm gonna do is set this off to the side and bring in this larger bowl and in this bowl I'm going to add milk, eggs, heavy cream, regular sugar, brown sugar, um, vanilla extract, and cinnamon. First thing that I'm going to need is a half of a cup of brown sugar. So, there we go. Next, I'm going to need a fourth of a cup of regular white sugar. So, we have that. We need tablespoon of vanilla extract we need two teaspoons of cinnamon We have a very nosy cat, Mia. That's not part of the recipe. And the only other thing that we will need for this bowl is eight eggs. As 
I'm sure that you've guessed, the next step is to put the cubes into the liquid. with my hands. So I'm going to make sure that all of these are coated and then they are soaking in the liquid. And then what we're going to do is make a, uh, like a crunchy topping for the top. Okay, so for the topping, the like crispy topping, I have this smaller bowl and what we're going to need for that is a half, a half of a cup of flour. Next, we're going to need another half cup of brown sugar. Then we're going to need one more teaspoon of cinnamon. fourth of a teaspoon of salt. The last thing we're going to need is a half cup of butter. So you can, and there's our oven preheating. So you can see here it says eight tablespoons is a half cup. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will be needing this whole stick cut into squares uh, and that's going to help to mix together with all of this and turn it into a crumble. Okay, so now we have all of the ingredients in there. Now you have a couple of options for this as far as mixing it all together. Uh, you can use a food processor, you can use your hands, you can kind of like use a, a, a whisk or something to get really in there. Um, but the idea is it looks like it won't mix together, but it ends up being kind of like a thick topping or crumble at the end. So whichever way you decide to do it is the same end goal. Okay, and now for the final part for the oven, I have a 9 by 13, I think it is, pan that is sprayed with nonstick spray. And uh, I use these disposable ones because I hate dishes and there's already going to be, in my opinion, too many dishes from this. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, which is actually way heavier than it looks, and pour it into the pan. You can see that because it was sitting there while I was um, making the topping, it's all been like, very soaked in. I'm going to make sure everything is spread out as far as the liquid goes because it looks like it might be like pooling in one area. Alright, and then I'm 
going to put the topping on it. The topping uh, came out a little doughier than I was expecting. I don't know what I did wrong, but it's the same ingredients, so hopefully it'll just bake in and I can't imagine that brown sugar and flour and cinnamon will taste bad in any form that it takes. <laughs> so uh, I, don't, I don't have a food processor, so I used a Nutribullet and maybe that was my mistake. I don't know, but it's supposed to be like something that you just sprinkle on like I'm kind of dropping it on there as evenly as I can and then we'll just have to see how it comes out in the end. Oliver wants to know what I'm doing. sure that the everything is cooked through because there's eggs in there and all of the it's not like too watery so we'll have to check it when it comes out but 45 to 50 minutes and here we have the final product so you can see that it's risen quite a bit didn't actually expect it to do that, but it makes sense. So I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes because it just came out and then cut it into some squares and I am very, very excited to try this. Get all the angles, you know, make sure we get its good side, which is all of the sides. So here we have the finished product. And you can see from the pan the thickness of it. It looks very fluffy and delicious. And I don't know about you, but I absolutely love powdered sugar on French toast. So I am going to be sprinkling, and by sprinkling, I mean drowning this sucker in <laughs> powdered sugar. So, there you go. It's breakfast, it's dessert, it's a snack, it looks absolutely delicious, and I'm going to eat it now. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and again, the recipe link is in the description, and I will see you very, very soon.